This is gonna be a resin pull test. Same wire, seven eighths, compacted, used a thousand hours on the customer's machine and he needs it pull tested for, uh, for data on how long his wires last. Yeah. What's that? This one, this end's a used resin pour, and that end is a brand new resin pour. I just didn't look to see if it looked good. The Both the used ones look look pretty good. Okay, here we go. Get all your cameras ready. This one here broke right at the base of the socket, like it will a lot of times. It was a good break. 100,000 pounds for a used piece of cable is a, is a really good break. It's been on for 1,000 hours. It's been in use for 1,000 thousand hours. And it separated, had a clean break, broke every strand. That's what you want when you want a brake test. You want every strand to break. So, it looks good. I mean, it looks terrible. It looks, <laughs> it looks, looks, looks good. Okay. There's some bird caging on this one. What do you say? First seven foot piece that broke. And just so you can see, this is zinc. And then this is a resin. As you can see, everything held, everything did real good. You can see the wear on this socket, how long it'd been on, a thousand hours. So you can see how this has been tested for a thousand hours and still the resin looks perfect. Uh, the reason why I like to talk about resin and zinc, I like both of them. I've been here 47 years, so I have poured a lot of both. Um, I like the zinc, uh, and I like the resin. I will say, if you're learning pouring, uh, the resin gives you a lot more stability uh, as far as uh, you can make a few more mistakes with resin and actually have a better pour. Um, and the, another thing with the resin is you can't ever make a mistake on getting it so hot at the bottom of your pour on a zinc. If you get some of these too hot or you get your wire too hot, a lot of times you will create a, a fatigue on your wire. It gets brittle because it gets a little bit too hot if you pour too hot. So you really have to watch the zinc. The zinc you have to be a lot more careful with when you're pouring. The resin gives you a little more forgiveness. They're both great. They both work 100%. Just make sure you learn the ins and outs of the zinc pour and learn the ins and outs of your resin pours and you'll be fine.